Alrighty, so today I'm going to be giving you guys a quick day trading recap. So um, we're driving back from Colorado back to Minnesota, so we were making money in the car. We finished off the week really strong. Um, the, we have the trading log, and the trading log over here is doing pretty interesting. Um, let's go to August, and there we have it. So... Nice, good week to start off August. We had some losing trades, we had some winning trades, but overall, net net, pretty good. So, basically, what we started off with was Target, and I wasn't able to catch the initial break of the morning high. Target's a pretty low volume stock, so the the candles are going to be a little bit uh, jagged, but we're looking really good. Um, we're holding above the previous all-time high at about 130, so I was kind of looking for an entry as we started pushing up past 130. And we got that. We got a move up and then we pulled down and I actually went long right about here at 130 stop loss of 129.50. I had the alert. The alert never went off. Then as we extended through and got to 130.17 and pushed into this medium supply zone from the hourly chart, then I actually added to the position and we actually formed a nice one five minute bull flag, I believe five minute bull flag. So when we popped and we actually added another contract at 130.34. So I have three contracts. A few of them were volatile. Some of them weren't. We started pushing up and I start peeling profits as we're pushing up and extending. And so target nice uh, first win of the day. We can see the account statement right here. If you guys want to ever take a look, but Target was a nice, great way to start off the day. And this is just all in the car, so we're just placing the entries and then our take profit orders. And then Disney, Disney was pushing up all day, and I really wish I would have caught this a little bit sooner, but we were kind of focused on Target, so no big deal. So eventually we pulled into support after hitting 131.94. We talked about in the Disney analysis that 132 was going to be um, some resistance. So... We were watching out for that, and then 132 was um, resistance, and we pulled back into support. After coming into support, this extended. It usually is good for a small bounce, so we bought a contract right there, about 130.75, and then it started pushing up, and I just put in a trail stop on this, and so it was like a trail stop of 10 to 15 cents, so we just got a small little $10 gain off of Disney. Um, another trade that we did was Beyond, B-Y-N-D, and beyond later in the day, it was kind of rolling over. I should have caught this short earlier in the day, but, you know, hindsight's 2020, of course. But um, it started rolling over, and especially once we started breaking the low of the day, that's when I was um, my alerts were starting to go off. And I was actually a bit late to the party on this. So what I did was I wanted to short Beyond Meat under 131. That's right about here. And my stop loss is about 131.10, just above this little candle. So because I was shorting it so late, I wanted to give it a really tight stop loss because I knew I was late to the party. And I was targeting about the 130 area, and we just never got that. That's why I always say watch out for those whole and half dollar numbers. So it went as low as 130.5. Didn't get to the 130 level. That's okay. All we did was we just took it for break even on Beyond. So Beyond was small break even basically trade right there. So Beyond, pretty interesting. Next up was Roku. And I was just placing buy stops because we had a nice solid bull flag in the morning. And I started buying shares over here. We can actually show the show trades. And this is meant to be intended as a swing trade since it's shares. I don't have to deal with theta decay with options. So we were just adding shares as, it, as Roku was pushing up. And right here, we were up about like, you know, $50, $60, but um, that wasn't part of my plan. I didn't I didn't um, take my profit at the gap. If we look at the daily chart, there's a gap from Roku's earnings right about 163, 164. So it's, it's normal to have resistance up in that spot, but I didn't take profits. I actually just took a um, Roku for break even for actually, I guess, 10 cents. So got a dime out of Roku. So after Roku, um, we were exited our Tesla swing position and Tesla just never worked out. Um, yesterday it was pushing nicely. We had bought, um, this breakout over here at 1496. We're sitting nicely on the position. I was looking for some follow through, but since follow through did not come, it's probably likely to go to the downside. So I just placed a stop order, um, 1465, obviously. And it filled me right here on that little one minute bear flag. I wasn't even watching Tesla. I just had the stop in and that's why shares are a lot easier to manage. You can just look at the charts um, with a clean head, and you can just place your stops, 
You can place your take profits, and one of those will hit. So, our next trade of the day was on Nike, and this is just all in the car while we're driving, getting fed goat cheese, good stuff like that. And Nike, let's get rid of the show trades real quick. Nike was, if we look at the daily chart, had a solid bull flag pattern. Look, move up, sideways consolidation, and look, we had a nice breakout over one th or over 101, 101.23. That was about my entry. It was 101 right over here when we broke the initial morning high. My alert went off. Nice tight stop loss, you know, 25, 30 cents. I wasn't going to let it go too far against me after such a good week. And um, so just bought Nike, one call option over 101. And we started pushing into the end of the day. The SPY was pushing up strong at this time. And we were able to take, take a nice um, gain on Nike. So Nike, and then lastly, a uh, swing trade that I'm prepping up for is um, going to be JMIA, and JMIA was pushing up strongly, we formed a nice little wedge pattern that broke bullish, and then we started moving up, finding buyers at the dip buys, and then I was just adding on each of these push-ups, and so we'll be, it'll be interesting to see how JMIA opens up on Monday, maybe I, I'll get a chance to do a break-even stop. Um, or take some good profits. Target on JMIA will probably be about you know 27. So that'll be this will probably be a little bit longer of a swing trade if we can get it. But we are at resistance right now, and we do have earnings. So we'll see how that goes. So nice, good way to finish out the week. Thanks for tuning in. See you.